Hi there everyone, this is Mario again and welcome to a new M Studio tutorial. This is the second episode of my series of videos about tracking in After Effects and Cinema 4D. Today we are going to talk about planar tracking with Mocha for After Effects. What is planar tracking? Well, let's say that planar tracking is one of the more effective kind of tracking you can use, especially when you are asked to composite something on an existing surface or when you have to perform a screen replacement. It means that you can turn something like this into this. Alright, let's get started. We are in After Effects, and after adding our footage into a composition, we select it and go to Animation Track in Mocha for After Effects, AE. Even if not always showing up, another software has just opened. Go find it in your dock or taskbar, and here we are in Mocha. This software is incredibly easy and powerful, but God is hard to understand the workflow without a trainer. And hopefully you have me. You lucky bastards. So <laughs> Mocha is going to guess the properties of your footage and is usually very good at it. So just check the data and click OK. Pick the pen tool, I recommend using the one with the X, and start drawing a sort of garbage mask around the area you want to track. There's no need to be very precise, use your best judgement and right click when you are done. You must absolutely avoid moving parts, like the thumb in this shot. This is very important, Mocha can only track still textures, still surfaces, and if you are attempting to track a glossy screen like mine, my advice is to use a green pattern like this or even better, like this as a background. Then let's click on this button to show the planar surface and start aligning it to the corner of the area where we want to composite the new screen. This time try to be as accurate as possible and I also suggest to add some extra pixels outside the real corners to cover some glow eventually coming from the backlight of the screen. Now let's understand what's important to set up down here. Almost nothing. Crank up this number if you want a more accurate, even if slower, calculation. Check perspective if there's a change in, well, perspective. And if your surface moves a lot, use the large motion option, otherwise the small option one is good. Results of these two options based on my experience are pretty unpredictable. That's it. Click the track forward button and wait for Mocha to compute your request. After the tracking you can run a first test to see if you have a stable solution by adding a test image in the replacement area from the insert clip menu. It seems pretty good to me and as you can see Mocha is very smart at understanding what really need to be tracked. Even if my mask wasn't perfect, it understood that the finger touching the screen wasn't part of the surface. He's smart, but don't give him too much hard time if you can. Avoid blurred surfaces, crappy shots, don't completely cover the screen, don't use your vintage webcam to shoot and be a good boy or a girl. Now we are ready to click on the export tracking data and click on copy to clipboard. It seems that nothing happened but trust me and move back to After Effects, we are almost done. Uh, the following instructions might be weird but trust me, this is the official workflow I have learned from Imagineer trainers. Uh, in your composition move to the very first frame and create a new solid. Paste the data we have just copied from Mocha and pre-compose the solid. Leave all attributes in the composition and give it a name. This composition will hold the screen of our iPad. Uh, for a matter of ratio and proportions, all the content has to be stretched to fit this comp size. So, 
if I want to add this, I then have to select it and go to Layer, Transform, Fit to Comp. This way, when I go back to my main composition, it will be correctly adapted to the screen I have tracked. Yes, it's weird, but it works. And that's it! Of course, this shot needs some more After Effects magic to be finished, but you have just learned how to track with Mocha! A round of applause is due! <laughs> So, this was my tutorial about planner tracking with Mocha for After Effects. More videos are coming, so subscribe to my channel for more episodes like this. Give me a thumb up if you liked this training session, write all your questions and thoughts in the comments section, and as usual, I am Mario from M Studio. make me proud, ciao!